All right. Okay. So what should we look at today? Okay. You told me to get ready for Einheldenleben. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So did you have a chance to practice it a little bit? Yeah. Um, it's not perfect yet, but I think you will get to see the, the little things I want to solve with this. Right. Okay. Then let's, let's go. Very good. Well, did you practice that a lot? Uh, n n I don't feel like it was a lot. Huh, but could, could have been more. Could have been more. Yeah. Thank you. Um, up to there, is there any anything that you feel like you would like to improve? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. In general, I feel like what we spoke about last time is getting better the connection between the lower and yeah. middle register it um, is yeah but this excerpt of course it goes like first it's low then high and for example All the time. that b, the b flat entry um yeah. i get like 50 percent of the time and mm -hmm. i don't know why is that right okay yeah um the b flat and um the a the, the high a and the b flat um kind of had the same same tendency to them um but that tendency ends up with not hitting the note when when it's an when it's an entry when it's in the context of a slur you can hit it but when it's coming in from the note it gets more difficult and that tendency is that um, for some reason your air volume or air pressure is not quite sufficient. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that 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 is coming from the way you're blowing or if it's something related to the embouchure. I'm not sure, so we can. Um, look at that. So, could you um, move sideways a little bit? Yeah, either way is fine. Either, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and then, yeah, let's start from the beginning. Okay. But be sure that, yeah, but be sure that you're sitting comfortably. Comfortably. Okay, let me move this. That's over. more important. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, let's try something. Um, yeah, let's do the B flat. But I will instruct you in a certain order. So um, it will feel weird, but just kind of follow my order once and then let's see what will happen. Okay. So first, um, kind of 
put your lips together similar to when you're playing the horn in a yeah with some tension around the lips yeah yeah keep that and then place your mouthpiece yeah and then press all the way where you can feel the kind of hardness of the metal on your teeth so press kind of pretty hard yeah keep that and then inhale from the side of your mouth yeah inhale and then push your lips towards the mouthpiece while you're still pushing the mouthpiece towards your lips so it's kind of pushing back from your lips mm -hmm. yeah did you do that the final bit like okay for example okay i inhaled and then so i pressed my lips against the mouthpiece yeah i, I actually there was one part that I didn't explain. Inhale from the side, yeah. and then snap the sides back to the, its usual position, but kind of towards the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you you're pushing with your arms. Mm -hmm. You're pushing the mouthpiece against your embouchure with the arms, but while you do that, you push back with your embouchure. You know towards the mouth. Yeah. So let's do that again. So first a kind of playing embouchure, playing embouchure, placing the mouthpiece. Yeah. Like and then pressing so that you can kind of feel the metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inhale from the sides. Snap back your lips to the usual position, push back with your embouchure and then play the B flat. Yes, perfect. Yeah. 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 Um, it did feel a lot freer. Um, yeah. It felt, it felt hmm? yeah, it just went bigger by itself. But yes. I do have one question. Um, what is, how do I get to use this, to, to get used to this? How do I get used? to doing this practice yeah see um yeah well i will be a little more logical than that so just now with only one try you got a perfect b flat yes that means that um what you got just now was you you added kind of movements or functions that was necessary to get to that level on top of, of everything you were already doing. So this is not a kind of replacement of what you were doing, it's an addition. Yeah, a necessary addition, yeah. So because it's a new addition, it, it feels probably kind of new and you know you don't feel like you're used to it but that's you know that's logical because it is an addition but the great thing is that you got a perfect b flat right away yeah yeah so um this is the kind of procedure you can start to um, remind yourself of when you're like warming up or doing basics yes also like when you're um, building up certain orchestra excerpts like this, you, you, you actually, um, especially if you're going to do auditions in the future, yes. probably that's when it will be very good if you can build up every single note kind of precisely like this for the excerpts, then, then you will kind of sound much more prepared than people who haven't really built things up step by step. Yes. Of course, um, probably like if you're in the orchestra in the future, you will be too busy to build up every single excerpts. <laughs> so yeah. winning a job in an orchestra, that process is probably a little different from actually doing the job in an orchestra. But either way, um, 
you can, you, everyone needs to build up their basics like this. Let's try the same procedure, but aim for the top C. I think you will get a pretty good top C out of it. Okay. So um, playing ambusher, <clears throat> placing their mouthpiece, pushing all the way so that you can feel the metal of the mouthpiece on your teeth, inhaling from the side of the mouth, snapping back the thighs into the position, pushing back with your embouchure, and then I see. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. More, more pressure. Yeah. But more, more pressure. <laughs> so more pressure, more, more. Uh, inhale, push back. Good. That was better. Yeah. Okay, let me try it again. Um, it, I don't know, maybe. Um, I maybe I have to put my lips different in a different way. Something in there feels unnatural, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, which, which timing? At what moment does it feel unnatural? Oh yeah, when when I put the mouthpiece on, like it feels doesn't feel doesn't feel like I usually play it in the high register. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, then um, do the same on the C octave lower. When you're inhaling, you're you are moving the horn away. Okay. So really keep the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Push, 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 yeah. Inhale with that pressure. And then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it once more. Yeah. Yeah. It comes a little bit. Uh, yeah. And then um, G. Mm. Good. Yeah. How did that feel? It felt full. So yeah. I felt yeah. like it was full. And do you notice that the beginning of the sound is very crisp and clear? Yes. Yeah, that's the quality you were um, lacking before in the, uh, for the A and B flat. Okay. Yeah, um, but when you did the B flat with this procedure at the and the, with the first try, that's the quality you gained. Yes. Yeah. And that's probably the difference of the sensation. You're probably working more in with your ambusher this way. Okay. There's more yeah. muscle involved. That's really good. Yeah. Um, so let's play a scale. How about a B flat major? So well, actually an E flat major for in yeah. real in concert notes um but begin the scale with from this setup so flying embouchure 
press in here from the sides, snap the position back to its normal position, push back with your ambusher, and then do, 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 like that. Okay. Push. I, I don't know. There's, mm. yeah. I feel like when I when I'm going up, the quality slowly goes yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you start a note. Can yeah. You are when you move your horn like that with the rhythm, with the beat, while you're moving, really feel the pressure. Okay. It's okay to move, but at the moment when you go and move, you kind of kind of move the mouth uh mouthpiece away from the ambushers and then you you move your horn like that on this axis, but rather press and fix and then move it with your kind of body. Okay, so that I have might... to focus on keeping the pressure. Yeah, yeah, okay. all the way through. Yes. See? Yeah. yeah. Um, so just now, um, you didn't 100% follow the procedure. Maybe you did about 75%, probably because it felt too strange and kind of insecure. But still, you, as you notice, it improved your high register. So um, it, it's all about, you know, improving, um, improving yourself. And it's all about being able to play more the way you want to play. So, of course, following the procedure itself is not the, not the point. The point is that... This is the kind of ideal procedure. This is the ideal way you will like your ambusher to work. So as much as possible, kind of go towards that direction. And like just now, you couldn't go 100%, but just by going more towards that direction, you got a much better high register. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, I did notice something this week that I've been here because the acoustics are different and I, I'm sleeping in a very dry room, dry, acoustic, acoustically dry. And I did notice that when I play maybe from F, sometimes even E and up, mm -hmm. someone starts getting like an airy sound. Like, yes. Is that the first time you noticed that? No, I I had noticed it before, but I thought it was gone because it, it was a lot. Like when I changed my my embouchure, it was a lot of that sound. But then uh -huh. I kept practicing and it, it, it got better. But maybe at some point I just lost the track uh -huh. of, of that sound. Or maybe you're just playing things that are more difficult and you're maybe playing more high register. That's true. Yeah, so I think that's probably the reason why you're noticing noticing it again. Okay. Yeah. And, but that scale you played just now, you, there was not much of that, right? No, no. almost, yeah. almost none of it. Um. 
the more you succeed to kind of maintain the pressure, the less of that airy sound will happen. Okay. Yeah. And when you got that um, top B flat, the very first top B flat with the, at the first time when you tried the, this new procedure, there was no, really none of that airy sound and it was really crisp, crisp. Yeah, and that's coming from probably higher pressure, probably in your aperture, I, I, I think. But everything's more focused and kind of condensed. And um, it's not a kind of sound that French horn players think that they are making. Yeah. But this is the kind of sound when you go to a place with good acoustic that which will really kind of sound clear and that projects well. Maybe a little bit like a trumpet. Yeah, like yeah. straightforward. Very straight, yeah, yeah. So if you're getting this straight sound out of this very round instrument with the bell back, backwards, that means you're doing really well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, the thing with with using more pressure uh, is that I get tired more easily. How do I overcome that? Um, so, have you been using more pressure lately? Yes. Okay. Um, do oh. okay. So you feel like you're getting more tired more easily. Not necessarily tired, but the 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 embouchure slowly goes cutting my lips. My yeah, my the inside of my lips. It gets cut. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, number one, the final part of that procedure we just done, pushing back with your um, embouchure, that's creating cushion with your embouchure. So the more, well, of course, well, the more you can do that, probably it will help with what you were talking about. But of course, um, if you start thinking only about making creating cushion, then that will kind of th throw everything out of context. And so the main aim is to get get a good balance of the embouchure and get the good sound the way you were doing just now. It, the the main aim isn't protecting the inside of the lips, although it does have that effect. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of more long term, I guess. But yeah. for the short term, um, so which, which lip, the higher? Mostly, mostly the, the, the lower. Lower. And where? Right in the middle or on the side? Right in the middle, right. It's like a line. So kind of inside or here? Like the markings of this tip. tip. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, um, sometimes so, when when I play more in the day, a little bit here, up, but that's inside or outside, inside, inside. Okay, if it gets if it's getting really bad, so like your your technical level is going up, so you're playing you're playing more you're playing more difficult things, and you are able to play. That me if. That means your embouchure is getting good, or your technique is getting good, you're getting built up. But if still um, lips getting injured inside is getting worse, then probably you should consult a dentist. Yeah. And I know players who cre create a very small, very thin kind of cover that they put on their teeth. Like some players, you know, they have a big gap between one teeth and another 
Yeah, that that's my case, but it's not a big gap. It's a little one. A little one, yeah. And with players who have a big gap, and if they want to, like, so just like this, kind of like that, and then if their mouthpiece comes right there, with even if they're playing correctly, that pressure kind of pushes the um, flesh against the sharp um, area of the teeth, which can get, you know, yeah. get some cut. So um, players like that, I know actually a few who consulted dentists and got themselves a very thin piece of um, mouthpiece that they put on the sharp mouth guard. Of yeah. the edge of the teeth. Okay. It's yeah. A mouth guard, I think it's called. Yeah, but um, it's like r really small, you know. Okay. But you know, of course, they they aren't cheap, so you want to be careful that you don't lose it, lose them, or swallow them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's something you should probably keep in your mind. And also, of course, um, if you push yourself too hard, sometimes the tissues inside of the lips form a, a kind of a cluster. And if that goes too far, that's not good. So um, be patient and kind of make sure that you get enough rest. And like if, if it's hurting too much, like a day or two of not playing won't hurt. Okay. Yeah. That's especially with students like you who are, you know, hardworking and they're, when their ability is going really up, they tend to overwork. And overworking is, you know, will be solved if once you notice you're overworking and if you take enough rest. But when um, the tissues start to get hard, that can be kind of tricky. So kind of just make sure that you're taking good care. Okay, I will. And I will probably go to the dentist soon. Yeah. Um, you see, I, I think I've, I've been playing the same time as I usually do. But mm -hmm. the, different, the difference is what I play. I'm, yeah. I think, if you say I'm playing more Potter stuff now. Yeah. 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 Everything you're playing is much more challenging, probably. Yeah. Compared yeah. to last year, for example. Um, yeah. I have something else I would like to see. Sure. Uh, how about yeah? How about um, playing one more scale with that intention, and then sure. and then going into um, Heldenleben and let's see how how much it will help the whole phrase. Sure, sure, great. I okay. Um, A major, B flat major, B major, whichever you want. Uh, that's in horn language or concert. Mm -hmm. Is that in horn? Oh, that's in horn. Okay. Uh, B flat. Did you say B flat? Or A or, or so a half note lower or half note higher. Whichever that's one right. you want. That's right higher. Okay. So yeah. Playing embouchure, placing the mouthpiece. Really feel the metal of the mouthpiece on your feet, on your teeth. Yeah. 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 Inhale from the sides. Push back. Start. Sure. Good, 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 good. And then go right into held on layback.
Very good. Very good. I bet you thought you were not going to get the B flat. Yeah. But what yeah, actually right. happened was you got, you went above. Yeah, yeah. So what um, was going on was that your ambusher was much more kind of firm, had a lot of support. Therefore, it took more air to vibrate it. So you were lacking air, so it felt hard on you. <laughs> But once you can, once you, yeah, kind of bring yourself into that kind of balance, then, then the rest is all about working hard with the air. Yeah. So it gets simple. And I will also mention the low notes sounded much better, very clear and, and rich. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's coming from more. Kind of tone and support of the ambusher. Okay, I'll add this to my routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's driving you crazy, just stop thinking about it. Yeah, that's that's the best thing about this try. Like, I didn't even think about the B flat. Just it just came out. I didn't yeah. even think about doing what you told me. Just it was there. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 because we did that. We, we practiced it on the B natural scale 10 seconds earlier. Yeah, yeah. 